The story of Mel and Joel begins just over six years ago when they met at a uni event. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, I don't remember Joel going to uni. <laughs> no, that memory is spot on, don't worry. Since being together, these two have discovered that being together is easy. They're best friends. They love being social, especially with Max and Boz. They love these two and they just love hanging out with them. Damn, Max looks happy. And it was in Sydney, around Bondi, that if you were there on that particular day, you would have found Joel shitting himself. And she can feel something's up. Something's not quite right with Joel. And so she asked me, like, is, is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> everything was wrong. They get out of the taxi and there are people everywhere. And Joel is instantly regretting. He's like, why did I decide to come here? There's so many people. And all of a sudden, there was this window of just, there was no one else around them. Like, everyone just seemed to disappear. So he's like, this is it. He says to her, hey, Mel, look over here. She turns around and who does she see? Joel down on one knee, crying. <laughs> crying because he's not just a big guy. He's got a big old heart too. He then asks her to marry him. and She says yes. And, and she starts crying. And it was this big, beautiful, romantic wet mess on Bondi. It was great. Mel, I cannot believe this day is finally here. Feels like this journey has gone forever, but really it's just the beginning. Marrying you is like a dream come true. I've never been so sure of anything in my life. You are the most incredible person I've ever known. It feels like we are made for each other. I never want you to be anything else except you. You are perfect in my eyes. I love you with all of my heart and can't wait to call you my wife. I've been searching my whole life for you. Dear Joel, the thought of that in just a few short hours we will be husband and wife fills me with so much joy and excitement. The day you proposed to me was honestly the most happiest day of my life. A day that we get to celebrate our love with our closest friends and family. February 3rd will now hold a permanent place in our hearts. A day we can celebrate each year as we grow old together and experience life's milestones. I thank my lucky stars every day that a man as funny, handsome, genuine and caring as you chose me to be your forever. Gorgeous man, I stand here in front of you, <laughs> the happiest man on earth. I knew from the moment I met you that my life was going to change for the better and that you were the one for me. Your kind, caring nature and stunning looks swept me off my feet. It still does, even to this day. There's a joke coming here, it's going to make it easier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Holy hell. I promise to always treasure our times together and make the most of every single day. Even the times when you leave half a soy cappuccino in my car to curdle for weeks on end. <laughs> I want to go old with you and take on all life's ups and downs. 
through good times and bad times, I promise to always be there for you no matter what. And I struggle to picture a world without you in it. My dear Joel, almost seven years ago, a bright light came into my life, and that bright light was you. Here we go. <laughs> A light that has made me laugh every day for the best part of seven years. I'm grateful that you make me feel beautiful, confident and worthy when I don't see or feel that within myself. You're a blessing to all those around you and I can't believe that out of the seven billion people on this planet, I was lucky enough that you chose me. Today, I make the easiest decision of my life, the decision to become your wife. I ask you to put your hands together as I announce them, husband and wife. As my younger brother, obviously, all I, all I wanted for, um, was for Joel to find happiness and be able to spend his life with someone who brings him joy. And fortunately, he's found someone in Mel. And I just wanted to say how proud I am of you. Um, I marvel at your ability to back yourself and make decisions that are true to who you are and how you want to live your life. Good evening. I've lost my glasses on the way here, so I borrowed my sister's glasses. So hopefully I can, <laughs> hopefully I can uh, read my dot points here, but might miss a few things. It's love having you around, Mel. We, it's great. I admire every aspect of Mel, and for the duration of our friendship, I've witnessed Mel prioritise everyone else's happiness, but tonight we get to honour hers. You have the ability to effortlessly make connections and build friendships with people. In your marriage is a bit like owning a car, you know, when you first start out. Geez, that one's hot. Anyway, a few Ks on, maybe some extra people end up in that car. Children, that is, then, yeah. I thought about this speech for a while and I decided the best way to talk about my mate would be to describe the types of Joel. The first type is the Carlton blowing a fourth quarter lead Joel. This Joel is one of the more angry Joels you'll see. Later on in life, you get down the track and all of a sudden you look in the rear vision mirror and you, and, you, and you look at the car that you've got and you think, this is a bloody good car I've got here, you know? You learn to love that car so much, that's the only car you want. The conversation with Linda about my speech, how long I was able to talk to, what we were going to do, and even the socks I was wearing tonight. <laughs> Stuff you, Mel, I'm wearing Explorer socks tonight. <laughs> we're extremely, extremely proud of what you've become. One of the best types of Joel is the Joel he is when he's with Mel, the reason we're all here today. Now from my favourite Joel, my best mate Joel. Oh, God. You are the most caring, loving, funny and kind person I've ever met. I understand that you don't always know what to say, but you always know where to be, and that's right beside me.